Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to install the FSR 3.0 on a Steam Deck for Hogwarts Legacy games. So as you can see, I'm already running the games. And then after this, I'm going to show you on how to activate the FSR 3. Uh, we're going to compare how the performance after we have activated the FSR 3. So the one that you want to keep an eye is the frame rate itself. As you can see, we have we got the 33 FPS, 29 FPS, 40 FPS was the highest FPS that we are getting for these Hogwarts Legacy games. Alright guys, so we are back on my desktop mode. As you can see, I'm already put my switch to the desktop mode and we are launching the games via the desktop mode as well because I cannot record my screen via the gaming mode. Uh, I don't have the good capture card in order to record my gameplay. So now, here is the mod files that you need to download which I will put links on the description box down below and this is the I believe this was the latest um, FSR 3 mod that you can get, uh, which you can find it on the Reddit. And if you, in case that you want to download it, I will put the links on the description box down below because this is what the files that I will use on this video. So you guys also can uh, support Luke FC on his Patreon. So you also might want to uh, follow and subscribe to Luke FC for creating these mods. Uh, kind of stuff and if you follow him you will get a uh, latest update uh, on each update was released so you can get it directly from look fc via a discord so you can support him by joining his patreon here so now you need to download the mods itself which is this include with the latest mods version uh, i believe it was 7 point, uh, 0 0.73 so uh, once you have already downloaded the files which is, will come with the zip files like this and then inside the zip files you will find this the DLS FFG uh, for Assassin's Creed Mirage and then the dead space. So the one that you want to get is the FSR to FS3 folder here. So you just need to drag and drop it to your desktop. So you just need to extract the FSR to FS3 folder to your desktop and you will get this folder. So once we already have extract the uh, FSR to FS3 folder, when you open it up, so you will see the different kind of uh, version for FSR3. There's the 0.5.0. This was the oldest one. And right now we have the 0.7.3. This one was the latest mm, uh, version for the mod itself. So we're going to go to the uh, 0.7.3 folder here. And then we need to open up the FSR2, FSR3, 220.zip. So double click to it to open the uh, mods file. Now minimize the mods uh, zip files. And then we're going back to the FSR2, FSR3, 220.zip. So for this video, I will show you two different ways on how you guys can trigger this uh, mod. One is by using the official Steam and one is by using Lutris. So in order to pass these mod files, what you need to do is you need to locate your Hogwarts Legacy uh, launcher. So if you use official Steams, when you go to the uh, your Steams library here, uh, you need to find where is your uh, Hogwarts Legacy launcher is. So you can go to the Steam library here and then select Hogwarts Legacy. Right click to the Hogwarts Legacy and then go to manage. Then click to browse local files. So now it brings you to the um, Hogwarts Legacy folders, which is this is how it looks like for uh, for me here. It was the uh, Quack version for the Hogwarts Legacy. So once you enter the Hogwarts Legacy directory here, what you need to do is you need to go to the Phoenix folder here, and then double click to binaries, and then double click to Win64. So at here is where you're going to pass all of the mods file which is uh, winmm.dll and vngx.dll and all of this stuff you need to drag and drop it inside the Hogwarts Legacy uh, Win64 folder here. So I already have the mods file installed on my uh, Win64 folder here. Uh, right now I'm going to override the files. So now this is what it looks like for your uh, Hogwarts Legacy Phoenix dash binaries dash Win64. So this is all the mod files that we uh, just copied just now. Okay, so now we need to go back to the FSR to FSR3 folder. And then we need to 
copy the DXVKNX. So right click to it and then hit copy and then go back to the Win64 folder and then pass the um, DXVK folder just now. So uh, once again, I already have the files which I will overwrite it here. Okay. So this is all the files that you must have on your uh, Hogwarts Legacy Win64 folder. So this is all the stuff um, if we have put and installed the mods uh, for the FSR tree. So now we may close the uh, Hogwarts Legacy directory. And now what you need to do here is you need to go back to the FSR to FSR tree folder. And then you need to double click to readme.txt. So in order to trigger the mod itself, we need to use this command. Uh, we need to copy this, uh, what do we call it? Uh, we need to copy this text and then pass it. Uh, like I said, I will show you two different ways. Uh, if you use Lutris, I will show you on how you guys can trigger the mods with using Lutris. And if you use official Steam, this is how you do it. So we need to copy this wine override until the comment here uh, the top single quote here so we need to copy wine uh, which is start with the wine dll overrides until the command uh, the percent here so right click to it and then hit copy so now go to your steam so now uh, right click to the hogwarts legacy shortcut and then click properties and right here you need to pass the text um, at the launch option here so right click to it and then pass so make sure you have put this command on your launch option in order to trigger the uh, the mods itself if you don't put this command you will not triggering the mods uh, because we want to call out the winnm.dll so that is why this command is really needed once you guys have uh, set this you just need to close your properties here all right, for Lutris uh, users, if you use the Quark version of the Hogwarts Legacy, in order to trigger the DLL files, all you have to do is you need to click to your game's title and do not launch it yet. So just highlight it like this. And then you need to click to the triangle icon right next to the portal icon, as you can see on the very bottom here. So right click to this triangle icon and then you need to go to the wine configurations. All right, so at the one configuration here, you need to click to libraries and then you need to click to the new override for library. So this is how you add the winmm.dll uh, in order to call it and trigger it to activate the FSR tree. So now type in here win. So type here win uh, mm.dll. Right, once we have put this and make sure you're spelling it right uh, just like what I did here now click add next and then the uh, warning system library will pop up so you just need to uh, click yes here and then click apply okay so now click ok so now we may launch the games and we're going to see how does it performs with uh, using the FSR tree. So in order to check whether that we already have succeed installing the mods and trigger the mod, all you have to do is you need to launch the games. So we launch the uh, Hogwarts Legacy here. So right top here, I have uh, the Hogwarts Legacy from uh, Lutris. And from the bottom here, I have from directly from Steam. So now we're going to test either one of these. So I will test, go ahead and click play here. So if you succeed, install and uh, trigger the uh, mods, you will see that's the command prompt uh, once you have launched the game. So I will show you how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks like if you have succeed trigger the mods this command will pops up before you enter the games okay so we just need to wait here until it launched the games as you can see now we already succeed entering the games after we see the command prompt so the command prompt will confirm that you already have used the fsr3 in case that you run the games you didn't see the common prompt pops up before you entering the games so there might be some things that you are missing and you need to check all of the files uh maybe some things was missing all right guys so i'm running the games via the uh desktop mod 
and I'm not sure if we use it on the gaming mod I believe we will get uh, more and stable good FPS because we can control the FPS limit but for this the desktop mod I don't think that we can set the glad, FPS limit so now we have triggered the mod itself yes. as you can see uh, at the starting here we already have hit 54 FPS 57 FPS 60 FPS as you can see up there and it was uh, really different from the normal uh, without using the FSR 3 but uh, as you can see we have the buggy issues uh, which is the glitches issues there and also I heard that some of you telling that uh, uh, the mod itself have a delay input but as for me I don't have the delay input so whenever I hit jump buttons it will jump directly uh, see the FPS guys as you can see we have hit 70 FPS which is really really incredible and I didn't expect that we can run these games with this such FPS because before this I used to play the Hogwarts Legacy with 30 fps maybe 40 fps so for the settings i forgot to show you guys how the settings look like so we're going to settings here and i use the same exact settings before we install this fsr3 so upscaling type uh it's still on the m the fsr2 and for the upscale mod still the same because it didn't change if you use the fsr3 mod but the difference that you will see is the frame rate and the glitches of course so we are going to stop over here so far we hit stable 40 at uh, fps 50 fps maybe and let's hope that the look fc managed to fix the glitches here all right guys so that's all for this video so if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys think that this video is useful and helpful please do leave a like and also please do hit a subscribe button in order to support me and if you want to see more video like this i will do in the nearest future so thank you very much for your times i hope i will see you guys on the next upcoming videos goodbye everyone i'll see you guys soon i had planned to extend an invitation to you myself I thought you might enjoy a butter bee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. <sighs> I, cannot I cannot tell you how, how nice it is to breathe fresh, fresh air after, after being, being cooked, cooked up in ancient, ancient rooms. rooms. Great, Great mistake, mistake to take, to take it, it as an, an electric, electric class, class. Believe, believe me. me. <laughs> I believe you. Though, Though I, suppose I suppose you would, you would not, not really call, call it elected, elected when, when your mother, mother was, was the one who elected, elected you to take it. it. <laughs>